As Syrian officials make plans for the constitutional referendum scheduled for later this month, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees said they are preparing for a worsening Syrian refugee crisis in Lebanon. From Beirut, FSRN's David Enders reports. The announcement of the referendum comes at a time when violence plagues a number of Syrian cities, particularly those along the Lebanese border. Syrian government troops have been shelling the city of Homs for two weeks, and the Syrian army has reportedly invaded neighborhoods in the city of Hama, north of Homs, as well. Syrian citizens, despite difficulties, continue to flee to Lebanon. The UN Refugee Agency has registered more than 6,000 Syrian refugees in Beirut and northern Lebanon. Officials estimate that another 2 to 3,000 are now living in the Bekaa Valley, in eastern Lebanon. Astrid Vingenderen Stort is the UNHCR's senior protection officer in Beirut. Uh, first of all, I mean, 90, more than 90% are housed in host families, which is also, we keep on wondering how, when is, you know, when do we reach a saturation point, because it's very tough to, to host families for such a long time. We had expected a, a much larger, larger influx and, and more uh, registration uh, after what, what has been happening in homes, and it didn't come. Now, does this mean that the people didn't come, and why didn't they, maybe the people didn't, maybe the people moved inside Syria to other places. But the refugee problem may be even worse. Lebanese activists who have formed a coalition of NGOs to aid refugees estimate the number of Syrians that have fled to Lebanon since mass demonstrations against the Syrian government began nearly one year ago could be as high as 20,000. Some do not register with the UN because they don't need aid. Others avoid registering out of fear of being identified. Abu Mahmoud left the village of Tal Kalek on the Lebanese-Syrian border with his family nine months ago. It is very hard here, but you get used to it. Sometimes there is work, sometimes there is not. I cannot go back until the system has fallen. It's very dangerous. Many of those fleeing the violence need basic aid, like food and water. Abdullah Tassi is a Lebanese doctor from Zahle, about 20 miles west of the Syrian border. He has been active in sending humanitarian supplies into Syria and aiding those who have fled to Lebanon. Tassi described a growing crisis in places like the Damascus suburb of Zabedani, which has now seen nearly two weeks of government offensives and temporary ceasefires between government troops and the militiamen, many of whom are army defectors now fighting to protect the movement that grew out of peaceful protests. We have... Um, 39 families in Bikar from Zabadani, none of them are, uh, is accepting to talk to any reporter. This is how, uh, this is how bad the situation is. 10 to 20 percent of the people are there, and 80 percent, they escape to Madaya and to Rankus. Fleeing Syria has become increasingly difficult as the Syrian government has reportedly deployed more of its soldiers along its traditionally porous border with Lebanon. There have also been reports the Syrian military has recently laid mines along some parts of the border. Nonetheless, Tassi said the flow of refugees into Bekaa had remained consistent, and that activists had begun petitioning the government for permission to build a refugee camp there. David Enders, FSRN, Beirut.